Hi, my name is Robin, and in the next few minutes, I want to go over a term used very frequently in our analytics and data-driven world, APIs. But what are APIs, and how can we use them to obtain the data that we are looking for? API stands for Application Programming Interface. But what are they? At the core of a definition, they are the interface that allows us to interact between two or more pieces of software. They act as a translator to go and find what we're looking for. What this means practically is API is there for us to retrieve the data from multiple sources at the ease from our desk at work or from the couch at home. A prime example, for instance, are compare websites to find car insurance for a new car. You specify what you're looking for and you fill out your details. Upon hitting send, the website sends that information using the APIs provided by the insurance companies to retrieve quotes from multiple sources and give you all the information that you need. But what if we want to send a query to an API ourselves? There are thousands of APIs publicly available for us to use. Most of them provide documentation on how to query their data. To keep this short and snappy, I'll stick to a very basic example using the common web browser to send the query and to return the results. Let's jump to a dad jokes API website called icanhasdaddoke.com forward slash API. This brings us to our documentation page. And for today, we'll skip the parts on authentication and API response format as these are covered in the next videos. The one thing that we do note is that the default response format is HTML. And that's something that our browser can render for us so we can see our results. We'll scroll down to a few basic examples. We'll copy those over and we'll try to query the data. We'll fetch a random dad joke. We'll fetch a dad joke and then save it as an image. And we can search for dad jokes. We will start with the first call and that is fetching a random dad joke. Upon hitting this API, it returns over the response. And a random dad joke is, a skeleton walked into a bar. He said, I need a beer and a mob. Now as this API returns your random dad joke upon entering this request into your browser. If you would refresh it again, it will replace the joke that is displayed. Now it provides you with a permalink here at the bottom. Upon hitting that, you will always return the joke that you see on your screen. And you can note in the URL, it has a unique ID. That unique ID is the same as the request for an image. So if we have a unique ID and we add .png behind this URL, it'll return us a URL image. And we can save that directly to our desktop. Up next is the search. We have our base URL with a search at the end. We paste it into our browser and we add a term. Term equals cat. This will return all the jokes in the database containing cat. Why was the big cat disqualified from the race? Because it was a cheetah. Now, obviously this is still a very manual process of accessing a data through an API. So if this has spiked your interest, keep an eye out for the next videos on how to further automate API requests and authenticate, as well as how to visualize this data using tools such as Altrix and Tableau. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel where you can find the next videos in this series of APIs and data. Thank you.